Hello, Sarah. I just finished reading The Distributable History of Frankie Lando Banks. Um, this book is about a girl who goes to a fancy boarding school in Massachusetts. Um, and we all know that I'm a sucker for the tales of the privileged elite uh, of the Northeast. Um, and although it was entertaining, I don't know if I liked it very much. Um, it focuses around this girl whose father was in a secret society when he was at her boarding school. And even when she was younger, her father would never tell her anything about this um, society. He would just talk about it with his friends. And you got the impression that when her, that she sort of disadmires, which is not a word, um, her dad because he had his glory days back in high school and back in, when he was like one of the old boys in college. And um, she doesn't think that that makes him a very, like, worthy person in a way, that he hasn't done anything interesting since he used to pull pranks with his buddies in high school. So she comes back for her sophomore year at her um, boarding school. And her older sister is no longer there, and her older sister was sort of a popular girl. And she, over the summer, has developed. So she is drawing different attentions than she was her, when she was a freshman. Um, one of those is she gets a new boyfriend in the senior boy named Matthew Livingston. Um, and he had always been kind of the, the girl, or the boy that girls like fawned over. And now he was paying attention to her, so she was really excited about that. And throughout the book, she starts to realize that her boyfriend is also in the society that her father was in and his friends, including his best friend named Elva, who, um, was sort of like the big guy in campus and was all talk and he just kind of grinds at her gears. They had actually met over the summer and he pretended like he had never met her um, because it made him feel more powerful. And that's really what the book's about. It's about um, power dynamics and there's a lot of very feminist um, thoughts about how it's very much about how they're, they are not going to let these girls into the club and her father and her boyfriend and all these people that she feels like she should be close to are keeping secrets from her because they're in this secret society. Frankie ends up um, in an attempt to one-up them and to outwit them. She ends up being their secret mastermind behind the society without them knowing it. And that is how she becomes a criminal mastermind as it describes in the um, front cover section here. Um, I just, I, I enjoyed the story, but I thought it, the messages were a little heavy-handed. Um, I remember I was just describing it to somebody the other day. I was like, I'm reading this book about this girl who goes to boarding school, and all she does is talk about her boyfriend. The whole thing was centered around the boyfriend and what the boyfriend was thinking of her and how the boyfriend underestimated her and how the boyfriend wouldn't let her in the club. Um... You know, the characters, by the time they find out what she's done, start to call her psychotic, and they say she's getting kind of obsessive. And I did get that from her. And, it, you know, I didn't really relate to her because all she ever thought about was her relationship to her boyfriend and this club. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It, it was interesting, but I felt like there should have been something more. There's just something bother that bothers me about the fact that it's a it has so many pointedly feminist points in this novel, but she spends most of her time worrying about what her boyfriend and his friends think of her. Um, that's really her main focus throughout the whole thing. And yeah, it just seems contradictory to me and it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. It was a fun little sketch of the lifestyles of these rich kids who don't, who even if they mess up in this overly secured setting, they are fine because they're set for life. Um, but it wasn't my favorite novel. I'm waiting for my grandma to come back because she's out buying vinegar because she's worried that I'm going to die because I um, was playing with a jellyfish with the edge of my shoe and she insists that we wash it in vinegar. I had to walk around barefoot because she wouldn't let me put them back on. Oh, grandmas.